Time for another Man in Great book review. Today's book is The Best of Simple by Langston Hughes, originally published in 1961. This reprint edition from 2015 by Hill and Wang, it's 325 pages. These brief stories originated as columns in the Chicago Defender newspaper during the 1940s and 1950s. They all share the same format bar conversations between an unnamed narrator, presumably Hughes himself, and a working-class African-American named Jesse B. Simple. Simple fled the Jim Crow South in the 1930s to settle in Harlem, and these stories evoke a vivid portrait of the neighborhood in the years before drugs, gang violence, middle-class flight, and gentrification changed it forever. Hughes often uses the simple character as a mouthpiece for his own views on race relations, racism within the African-American community, the pretentiousness of the black middle class, and other topics. What prevents these stories from becoming dated curiosities is Hughes's mastery of language and the humor he sprinkles throughout uh, Simple's dialogue. In some of these stories, he achieves the kind of lyricism that we associate with his best poetry. Being intended for a newspaper audience, there's a fair amount of repetition in these tales. We hear Simple complain multiple times about his landlady and there are other tedious accounts of his alcohol consumption. The best of Simple is minor Langston news, but it's still worth reading for its dis description of a Harlem that no longer exists. The book is The Best of Simple. The author is Langston Hughes. This has been another Man in Great book review. Thanks for watching.